That was the Storm King Art Center in New Windsor, New York. The drive was about an hour and a half from where I was staying in LES or the Lower East Side of New York City. I visited Storm King on a Sunday, but hiked and filmed two other times in upstate New York on Thursday and Friday, which will be linked above. Towards the end of the video, I'll also include footage of the rest of my stay in New York. The Storm King Art Center ran on a timed entry ticket system when I went. Your ticket also included parking. And if you don't feel like driving here yourself, you can look into rideshare, train, or transit. A few years back, me and a few friends took a bus from the city that drops you off and picks you up at the Storm King Art Center. The whole space is very accessible. I saw people of all ages visiting the museum and there are trams that you can use to get around if needed. Walking the perimeter of the museum is about three to four miles, so trying to see all of the works is probably going to be around a 10 mile trip. I ended up getting to see most of the works, but didn't get to see all of the works in the North Woods due to timing. I ended up walking about five and a half miles that day. Another good thing is that they give you this physical map upon checking in. A fun option you can do is rent a bike here to get around. Me and my friends ended up doing this last time I went and it was definitely needed. We went in the summertime and it was hot and humid so the bikes definitely saved us. And I suggest perusing their site before visiting so you know all of the policies. The Storm King Art Center is pretty much like any other indoor museum you'd visit with the exception of being able to bike throughout the space. The website will be linked in the description in case you need more information and if you want to book tickets. All right, so time for vlog number three of New York City. So this was actually my cabin in Keene that I stayed at for the Indian Head and Rainbow Falls hike, which will be linked above. And yes, I should have added it to the last video, but here we are. And here's me driving around the city. I've driven in LA, the Bay Area, and in the Philippines. So it was definitely fun driving here as well. I had the car for an extra day because the 24 hour garage was actually closed and I couldn't drop off the car. So I ended up having to find street parking and waking up pretty early to drop off the car at Enterprise before they charged me for two extra days, but I got it done and it was fine. Here's Times Square where I picked up a quick gift. I went to New Jersey for a helicopter ride, which I'll post another video for soon. I also got to see my cousins while I was there, which was fun. I had a quick lift and had a meal with a friend near NYU. Also got to see the French dispatch, then had drinks with another old college friend, which was a good time. And here's some other random footage I have. So this was my last day in New York. I got a haircut at the 12 Pell Barbershop. Then on the way back to my Airbnb, I randomly walked by a jewelry store and of course splurged on a couple charms for my chain. Shout out to Tommy for taking care of me. His shop is at 82 Bowery Street. Here's my plane ride back to California. I watched some Fresh Prince and Mad Men, two of my all time favorite shows. And since I ended up having two hours to spare before my ride came, I naturally Ubered eat some dinner to myself. And that's all for now. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also support me by clicking on the affiliate links in the description below. And even if you don't purchase any items, clicking the links will still help me out. Also, please share this with someone you want to go on this hike with and let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching and supporting and I'll see you in the next one.